Hello everybody, so today is a bit of a different video from me. I've wanted to do a story time related video for quite a while now, but I didn't know how people would react, but I'm going to do it anyway. And this is a video, as you have read by the title, about my paranormal experience. And I know loads of people are probably like, oh this is all fake for views, but it's really not to me. And if you're going to be negative then please just leave the video, you don't have to watch it. But this is the experience that I had and I'm going to tell you the truth, obviously. And you can believe it or not, but to me this was real and this did happen. This story does creep me out a lot. I'm really happy that I don't live in the house where it happened um, anymore because it freaks me out a lot. I feel that this choker makes me look like Esther from Orphan. <laughs> When I was two years old, my parents moved me from London in Islington to the countryside and they wanted to do this because the schools weren't that great in the area. I'd have to have gone to a private school. I think my name was down for a few private schools but they didn't want me to go there so we moved to the countryside. We lived in this old house which used to be a farm I believe and the people who had previously lived there had also seen paranormal activity happen there. This literally creeps me out so much like talking about this. Oh, it really does freak me out. I think I was like two and a half when we moved from London to this new house in the countryside. And this house had quite big rooms. <laughs> Can you tell I'm nervous filming this? God. The house was quite old. It'd been lived in for years and years and years, obviously because it was a farmhouse. And within the first, I think it was two or three months, me and my mum saw ghosts, to put it bluntly. Um, my dad never saw ghosts, but me and my mum did and it was only within the first two or three months of being in the house and people say that it's because of the fact that they wanted to just check us out and see what we were about kind of thing. I feel so eerie sitting in my bedroom filming this right now, it's creeping me out so much. So this is me when I was two and a half, I was a really fussy eater, I this sounds awful, I only ate really chicken nuggets, chips, hummus, uh, ketchup with stuff obviously, um, I hardly ate any fruit or veg so I was a really fussy eater and in the house there was this thing called the dungeon we used to call it which is actually a wine cellar which was down so it was like on the bottom floor and then there was a little bit down and it, yeah because it was supposed to be a wine cellar and it was really cold it was all like flagstone floor and like um, it was a really cold room and it was really just old in general and we had a little bathroom which was there which again it was all like stones and like was not modern at all it was very very old and I had a little window which was glass it was tiny smaller about the same size as that one you could see into the garden from there and I had all my toys down there and it was my playroom because I had a bedroom but I also was lucky enough to have a playroom and we called it the dungeon and it was very cold and I was sitting and playing on the floor with like because we had a rug down and had all my toys and I was playing on my own and I saw this figure walk towards me and it was a woman who had a bonnet on and she was in very old fashioned clothes and I wasn't scared at all although I'm really scared now so I saw her walk towards me and she just kind of came into the room I don't quite remember how but I just remember her coming into the room and she looked like a young girl, she had her hair up in a bun with a bonnet on so I could see her middle parting and she just had a really friendly face, it was round and I remember looking at her clothing which was really like old um, it was just, she was just kind of grey and she was hovering off the floor a little bit um, like that much, she was just standing watching me playing and I was um, just looking up at her and I remember hearing my mum call me for dinner or was it lunch I can't remember if it was dinner or lunch and so I went up and I didn't say goodbye or anything she literally was just smiling at me that is the thing that I remember the most she was just smiling at me looking at me playing sounds kind of creepy um, but she was just really nice she didn't mean to like hurt me or anything like that I went to dinner and for the first like time in years I asked for seconds and I never did that because I was such a fussy child and so my mum gave me seconds and she was like, oh my gosh, Emily, you're asking seconds, okay. And I just sat and watched it. And she was like, Emily, you need to eat it, you've asked for it. And I said, it's not for me, it's for the girl down in my dungeon. Freaking me out right here, right now. And so my mum obviously knew the fact that I had seen a ghost as well because my mum was like, there is no one in this area who is in her dungeon. So 
that is what happened. The story was triggered once I moved out of the house when I was nine. I think my mum said to me, oh, do you remember you saw a ghost? And I was like, oh my God, and I've retold her the story before she um, told me, so it wasn't her putting it into my head. So that is my story time. I really hope you enjoyed hearing about it. I am so creeped out. You have no idea and I'm in the house on my own, so. <sighs> but I haven't seen any ghosts in this house, so it's fine. Touch wood and whistle. I'm now gonna have to like watch something really happy or sing to something really happy because I am so creeped out right now. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a like if you did. Tell me in the comments if you've seen a ghost and I will see you in my video next week maybe if you're subscribed and if you did like this let me know and I will do some more story time videos. See you soon. Bye!